Hi guys, not your average guy over here. I want to show you how you can remove propellers from your drone footage. If you've seen some previous videos of mine, then you know that I have shot some really unique footage in National Park El Tai de Tenerife, worth some 6,000 euros, and there were some propellers in view, but probably you didn't notice so much because I removed them. And I will show you how to do this. So, I got some footage over here. I work with Adobe Premiere, but I think you can do this in any other editing program. In this layer, I have the 4K footage and I rendered it to uh, full HD because otherwise my computer is so slow that I cannot show you. So I will show you in full HD, but I will edit in uh, 4K. Let's have a look at this footage and you can see there's a lot of propellers in view. It's really bad. Um, but if you look at this frame and if we zoom in over here, then you can see that the next frame does not have this and it differs only very little from the previous frame. What you can do is uh, you can just take a piece of the next frame and put it there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this footage. I'm going to the next frame, that's this one, and I'm going to put this next frame on top of the other one. I'm going to remove the rest for now and I can go to effects and there I can go to keying and there is a four point garbage matter and I'm going to put that over here put this back to like this and now I can drag these points over the area where the propeller is like this and what you're seeing is the rendered footage but I'm selecting now this this little part from the next frame and I put it over the original footage so if I remove it this is my original footage and I put a little part of the next frame on top of it. And as you can see, it's gone now. But the problem is, it's a lot of work to do it like this because you have to do this for every single frame where there is propellers in view. I've been trying out several things how to do this like as quickly as possible with as the least work per frame. I cannot really find something very good and useful within Adobe Premiere, but you can do this in Photoshop. So we can go to Photoshop and in Photoshop you can open video. And I have this DJI footage with props, a small piece I rendered. What you have to do, you have to make sure that the animation window is open. Otherwise, you, can't, you don't have a timeline to go through the footage. In other versions of uh, Photoshop, this may be called video or whatever. I have this first frame over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the eraser tool. I select my layer with the video and I'm just going to remove this prop you need to have a pretty hard brush don't have a very soft because then you might still see some stuff over there so i have it pretty hard and then uh, a little bit bigger than uh, than the prop so you can easily remove everything to work well and to see what you are doing what you can do is you can just copy this layer and I will put the copied layer beneath it 
and then I zoom in in the beginning and I remove the first frame and I shift it so now I have the entire video they're all shifted one frame and as you can see now it borrows the sky from the next frame and it's all gone so now we can walk through the videos and through the frames and remove the props here's one and as you can see it's magically gone with one little stroke and it's gone and you can do this very quickly or relatively quickly this goes a lot quicker than what I showed you how to do this in Premiere now you see I run into a problem over here because the frame underneath it, the next frame, has a propeller at the same position. But we will solve that later because what we're going to do is we're going to borrow the sky from a previous frame in this situation. Or if that's the same, then we're going to borrow the sky from the second next frame all right so we we just keep going on with doing what we're doing that is removing all the props and if we want to see the effect then we can put on or put off this layer but we just remove all This, this might seem tricky because the mountain is here, but practically it's not because the previous or the next frame differs only very little. So practically you won't hardly notice. And even here in a mountain, you may think like, oh yeah, when you do this in the sky, that's not, it's going to be easy. But when you do this in a mountain, it's much more difficult. No, it's not. Wham, and it's gone. You see? In fact, the sky is much more difficult because if there is just a small thing, a little bit different from, from uh, this, this, flat blank eagle sky you will notice it but little change details in the mountains you you will not even see it make sure you removed it all we did over here let's see what happens tada it's magically gone next frame If you don't want this, you can try again. Well, you go through every frame like this until uh, you reach the end of your footage. Make sure you even have the most tiny little things. You can see this is the third frame that I have that has the propellers there. Even a fourth one. You have to count this. And even a fifth one. And then it's gone. So I had five 
frames now it means I need to go six frames forth or back to get a frame with a good sky or mountains oops it's a lot maybe I can do it like this and even one that looks problematic like this I can remove easily when you're done you can save this as a PSD file but make sure that uh, this layer that you have beneath it that it's either off or even deleted because you don't need it you only need the stuff where you removed the propellers you can do the next step within Photoshop but my version is very bad with memory and it cannot render the video anymore so I do this within uh, Premiere and in Premiere what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import this PSD file yeah that's all right just this one and the nice thing about it now is that if I make any additional changes in Photoshop it will also show in Premiere so now you can see that I have this Photoshop layer over here with removed EG black area where the propellers were okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these Photoshop layers a couple of times uh, we counted five so we need six And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put this, this is going to be the top layer that I'm going to use. And the, the layer beneath it, I will shift it one layer to the right. Then I will take off one frame of this one and put it to the left. I will put this one two frames to the right. I will take two frames off and put it to the left of this then I will take three of these like this so it's like the next one the previous the second next one the second previous one the third next one the third previous one just to make sure that everything is gonna be all right I will make a purple title like this it's a very bright color and I will put this underneath all of them so if there is any area that I did not cover yet, I will clearly see it. So here's my prop in the original footage. I will turn off this layer. Yippee, it's gone. And now we can go through every single frame. And you can see that it's all gone. Even the areas in the mountain well, as you can see, over here, I, I forgot something. 
so you can go to Photoshop to the same frame and you just remove it over here you save it you go back to Photoshop and it's gone but you can just go to Photoshop and um, continue working uh, like this remove this one I forgot that one make sure you get every little piece now over here this one you can see that the drone is turning and that the, the mountain is moving so you might run into trouble with something like this so let's save this and go over there yeah you can see it i will show you maybe enlarge it a little bit so it will be very clear all right so you see that that's where you run into trouble and the thing is maybe you will not notice it but if it's important and you have to change this you have to make this all right then there's nothing else you can do than take a frame so i will just make another layer i will take the next frame from this footage so i have to repair tw frame 12 this one so that means I'm going to take the footage of frame 13. I'm going to put that on top of 12. Then I'm going to take this garbage mat and put it over there. Select it. And I will say... this little area we are talking about okay um like this and we'll have to zoom in to see it clearly so turning this on and off it's too far to the left and then I have to say okay m position 961 I move it a little bit to the right you see and now it's moving with the movement of the camera and that's better than this and then we restore this one uh, there's a lot of work but these situations are much much more less frequent than the other one it's just you're unlucky in a, in a quick turn of of the camera a small percentage of the footage has to have special treatment like this the most of it you can just do in the other way well um basically this is it i think uh, you can repair your footage like that and if you've done it well you cannot notice it anymore and that's important give me a thumbs up if you like it if you have any other suggestions or comments feel free to do so and uh, see you on the next video